Awesome Chat is brought to you by Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Hey guys, before we get into this week's awesome chat, uh, great conversation, but we did have a little bit of technical issues with our guest, Mike. Uh, Looks like a bad cord creeped in there. Don't worry. A few more are in the shopping list on Amazon, so we don't have that problem again. Uh, So you might notice a little difference going between uh, some mics as I'm trying to... um, go back and forth and, and get through the, the technical glitches that we had throughout the interview. Uh, still, great conversation. I hope you stick around, listen to it, and uh, and uh, thank you for listening. Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Awesome chat. Still here at the E Center at Linden Point. And uh, we got another great guest here. We're going to begin. You guys are doing a lot of fun stuff that we'll, we'll get into here. Definitely. <laughs> but uh, please, first, please check everything out at awesomecast.net. Subscribe to the Awesome Chat on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, or video versions on the Awesomecast Facebook or YouTube pages. And please support the show at patreon.com slash Awesome cast. Uh, so I'm here with Brian Pullman with Industry Weapon. Correct. Which is a name I see around Pittsburgh <laughs> a bit, but you guys are up here at the East Center here in Hermitage, PA. Yep. Yep. Yeah. We're taking uh, taking advantage of, of the East Center. Came up here. Um, small office up here. So. Yes. Pretty excited about it. it. The commute is apparently <laughs> better for you. So yes, better commute for me because I'm from the area. So that's great. Uh, reduce my commute by about an hour and ten minutes. Hello, Mercer County. Here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So and, and of course, this place giving me more reasons to come up here too and and visit my family more. Hi, Dad. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> but uh, well, hey, tell me what what is Industry Weapon? What do you do? Like I partially know parts of it, but there's a lot that's a mystery to me. So Industry Weapon is a uh, CMS provider for digital signage, which is a content management service, where Mm -hmm. a a SaaS, which is software as a service. And um, we based our our whole business model around um, making digital signage easy for the average person to use. So it's for that person in HR, it's for that person in accounting or in marketing to use digital signage. You don't need to have a computer science degree or Mm -hmm. be an IT professional really for that that person that knows how to use PowerPoint Mm -hmm. um, to be able to publish digital signage uh, as simple as doing one or two signs but we also have uh, deployments that are worldwide with uh, fortune 500 companies so let's break that down a little bit because digital signage what does that really mean for the people that aren't in that space so digital signage is anything from when you go into a fast food restaurant and you see menu boards up Mm -hmm. on television screens uh, when you go into the lobby of a doctor's (laughs) office and they have messaging um, about you know, hours or special programs, whatnot. It's really the new communications tool, uh, a way to, to reach out to that end user. Uh, those are a couple of customer facing type of things, but also is very big in corporate communications. Uh, we have a lot of companies that use it to communicate to their employees, uh, simple things like HR messaging, but more, um, more complex things like uh, performance metrics, things like that, letting them know where they are on, you know, on plan, what they're doing, things like that. So, and that's a, that's a hard thing because I, I know um, in my experience, I've had a client that did have like that, that that TV in the lobby, and they're like, "Can we put something on there?" And we hooked up an iPad, and we had some things, but I was the only one to update it, you know, <laughs> and nobody got me information. So it needs to be a kind of a, 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 a easier stream of information to that. Uh, right. TV, whatever, yeah. right? So the way the way ours works is it's we have what's called a hybrid cloud solution. Mm-hmm. It, it takes advantage of web browsers and whatnot to allow uh, individual people to to update the signage based on their their level within the system. So you can set it so that a person can only have control over a single display, or they can control all the displays within the company or in, in multiple locations if, if need be, so. 
that's that's good. So there's less of that outdated stuff or the uh, data not found thing happening. It's, that you, I saw sheets one time. Our, our software, yeah, but it's it's still out there. We yeah. talk to customers all the time that are just completely frustrated because mm -hmm. they have ten screens that they're using in in one facility, but they're going around with a little flash drive and updating oh, no. updating the content. So this is something that really someone can do at their desk mm -hmm. at at it at home uh, but we also um, specialize in doing data integrations where we can actually integrate with a customer's data source and actually publish the signage in real time um, with with information that they use maybe on a daily basis um, things things like um, you know, integrating with their POS system, which is mm -hmm. a point of sale system, um, or if they're using call center software, manufacturing software, um, you know, office products, anything like that. Really publishing, you know, publishing content to those signs that that are are more important to that that company to get out quickly. But they don't want someone constantly updating that that information. Then there are other tools that will actually allow them to go in and manipulate the signage um, as they want. You know, if if they want to do special messaging and things like that. That's so, awesome. So yep. so so, um, where can you tell us uh, as much as you can? Uh, <laughs> like, where where have we seen your work, maybe in public? So, a um, bunch of different places. You know, um, Mylan Pharmaceutical down in Pittsburgh okay. is a customer of ours. Um, we do their lobby screens there. Um, if you go to um, the um, the queue up in Cleveland, mm -hmm. uh, Launch Kitchen up there. Um, I still know it as the Gundarina myself. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> old, old name. I don't I don't I don't get to Cleveland too much anymore. So. But um, and then we have a whole just um, host of of customers that mm -hmm. you know small deployments, large deployments. So it, mm -hmm. you know we nice thing is we really are all over the place. Mm -hmm. So. And, and that's nice. And, and, and you know, you guys are located in Pittsburgh. I know I've seen the sign down on um, uh, in Dormont at least for a <laughs> while there, right? Um, so uh, you know, it, there seems to be you know a lot of talent going around around this kind of stuff. You know, in Pittsburgh, like, what do you see about like kind of the scene, the tech scene there, and how does that kind of help your company being located around I the mean, area? Yeah, it gives us a, a great pool of of young, talented people to be able mm -hmm. to pull from. Uh, you know, Pittsburgh really is has been a phenomenal technical town mm -hmm. um, and in a lot of a lot of great people out of there so for us uh, it, it's a great place to call home mm -hmm. I know I've applied a couple of times when I still had mad fresh flash skills and was trying to get <laughs> another job and uh, yeah you know uh, <laughs> so actually you guys have been around for a while because yes. that's, is, the flash was definitely on my resume back then uh, <laughs> but uh, awesome uh, so so you know kind of what you know what moving forward like what are you guys uh, uh, working on I hope that you can talk about anything cool coming out you, you know, know um, a, a new technology continue like, to grow continuing to uh take take advantage of the different manufacturers out mm -hmm. there that that we work with um because using their technology your thing isn't necessarily like a mass-produced thing right no it's you know, more business to business we're, we're more business to business and we are um we're more about servicing servicing the existing technology that's already out there. Mm -hmm. so taking advantage of uh, companies like LG Intel Samsung NEC bright sign mm -hmm. using their hardware and then offering the customers that that full solution of taking that hardware and making it something easy to use so you guys are very kind of one-to-one -one taking advantage of all the you know the 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 screen technologies the 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 the, the maybe the tablet devices and yeah, things like we, that right we, we try to be um player agnostic we take mm -hmm. advantage of tablets in our deployments um both both on the android side and um the ipad as well mm -hmm. um you know really just whatever whatever the customers are dictating as far as using mm -hmm. um that's what we're going to try and deploy on it's pretty pretty amazing because I, I know I mean I live in a world where like I, I was actually stopped in my tracks in Walmart and I don't know maybe it wasn't your things I don't know <laughs> uh, the Red Bull thing where they put a screen on the front of the cooler that shows yep. the cans and everything like they, the displays are just popping up everywhere like that you know yeah. in, in interesting ways well, and, I, and I probably should mention to you one of our biggest customers is Dick Sporting Goods okay so go into a Dick Sporting Goods um, <laughs> and and that just happened to be one of those customers that was located by us mm -hmm. one of our first customers. 
and really do not only a deployment in the store that's customer facing, but then we're in, behind the scenes in the back room and mm-hmm. then at their, their corporate headquarters as well doing information. So that's great. Just, just a full, full gamut. Of, of digital signage. That's good. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. So really, like I, I can't say it's it's a big thing. It's a, it's a growing industry because it you know the the screens are getting cheaper too, right? Yes. So yeah. you can deploy more of them. You know, again, the better technology gets, mm-hmm. uh, the cheaper it gets, and and you know um, more accessible. So mm-hmm. we're seeing more um, more digital signage go into. Um, smaller companies and whatnot because it, there's not that barrier of entry mm-hmm. uh, that there was, you know, five years, ten years ago, where mm-hmm. it just was, you know, you said digital signage, it, it was extremely ex- expensive. Now it's it's a lot more affordable. And because it is so widely used and the cost justification for it is mm-hmm. is out there now, it's a lot easier for smaller companies to adopt as well. Awesome stuff you guys are working on. It's always really, really cool. I'll be looking. Is, is there a little like industry weapon tag or anything <laughs> where I can look for this? No, your your footprint or anything like hey, that. You know what? <laughs> yeah, like, check us out at industryweapon.com. And, you and you know, there's there's always new and exciting things coming out. So there you go. We'll be awesome. doing a couple of digital signage shows here this spring, and mm-hmm. look for us there. <laughs> I, I uh, you, uh, you, you're a company that's been on my hit list for a while that I've been meaning to reach out to, and I'm glad that we just ran into each other <laughs> up here, like the things that happen like this. So thank you so much for joining Always me a here pleasure. on the Awesome Cast, awesome, awesomecast.net. Finally, all the awesome, awesome chats that we've done over the last year and a half with uh, entrepreneurs and companies and technical people and video game people <laughs> and podcasters and all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, there, uh, subscribe to us and support the shows at patreon.com slash awesomecast if you're digging what we're doing and help us buy label flags for our microphones that we're just <laughs> talking about, for instance, uh, and stuff like that. Thank you to my awesome guests and our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. <laughs> This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.